Hey, peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Claire Audience Truth Speaker, formerly known as First Eye Vision. I'm always higher frequency. That is the name of my LLC. I just wanted to do something different with the channel just to bring in some new energy. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls tuning in, tapping in, are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. I will all is bliss in your world. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. As you can see, today was a beautiful day to provide you all a reading. I will that if any of you are new and find that this video uh, resonates for you, if you've watched any of my videos, I would truly appreciate your support and just subscribing to the Soul Tribe, uh, definitely liking and sharing the videos because that is a wonderful way to get the videos out there and to also get me into the algorithms because this is a transference of energy. I am providing the readings and what I need from you all is your support, your love, um, and that's how we reciprocate this 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 uh, partnership here. That's that's the way we can show reciprocity to one another. But uh, if any of you are new, welcome to the Soul Tribe. As I said, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath, and I am also clairaudient. So. With my readings, the way things work is I listen to music and the names of the songs, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, perhaps sometimes the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what, uh, you know, what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards uh, will be showing. And it all just blends very beautifully. So my spiel here, beloveds, is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply let it fly by check your natal chart it would behoove you to check your natal chart and get familiar with what your other placements are because you might be missing some very critical information uh, from your other signs. So uh, definitely encourage you all to do that. Uh, to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I give you all some extra love because you know I love y'all that much. Um, my readings are timeless. So whenever this video popped up in your feed, whenever you felt compelled to click play, whether it was the name, the title of the video, uh, perhaps it was the timestamp, maybe the thumbnail grabbed you. Uh, it was all a matter of divine timing and in divine order that you've done so love it. So without further ado, we're going to dive right in. Uh, I am definitely working on making shorter videos uh, because as I've mentioned in a post, um, it's very difficult for my readings to get into the algorithms uh, so that others can discover the reading uh, because they are so lengthy. So what I am actually uh, thinking about doing is having, um, you know, starting like a Patreon uh, so that we can, you know, get those longer readings. And during those uh, live sessions and during those readings, what I will do is I will answer questions, you know. Um, I'm going to give you, you know, your money's worth. So if you're in, you know, those live sessions on my Patreon and you have questions and you want me to dive in, I will definitely um definitely um, take your questions and do those readings right there on the spot. Um, I'm thinking of just starting at a you know minimum of five dollars uh, and see how things grow gradually before I start you know making different tiers. Um, so I am in the process of working on that because my time is very valuable and uh, I do enjoy providing these readings but I also want to uh, feel like I am being valued as well. Um, you know, my time, my energy that goes into this, I'm, I do deep dives. Uh, I know that this is, you know, YouTube and they push the shorter readings up that, you know, up that tier or up that algorithm. Um, so those are more accessible and those videos get exposed more than videos such as mine, um, which are like an hour, 45 minutes to two and a half hours long. So uh, a way to still provide um, all of my beloveds uh, that have subscribed to the channel, what you're, you know, what you like, um, 
I was, you know, definitely um, considering starting a Patreon where you could see those deep dive. And uh, like I said, you know, not only will you get the deep dives, but you could get a lot of behind the scenes. You know, perhaps there'll be some other um, elements to myself that I will uh, make available to you all. You know, perhaps just daily confirmation or daily conversations with you all, um, pulling a card. Um, but it will be more. Uh, it will be more active, you know, I'll have more activity. Um, and as I said, you know, uh, it would probably be about $5 that I'll start that tier, uh, $5 a month. Um, and you know, I'll still do the little, you know, quick readings here on the session. But anyway, I digress. I just wanted to get that out because I do have some things that I want to, you know, change on the channel, not just the name, but also the way I'm doing things. Uh, as I said, you know, our time is like, to me, my time is like currency nowadays. So I definitely don't want to feel like I'm wasting time, but I also don't want to not provide the readings because I know a lot of you look for them. So uh, a way that it could work for both of us is if I, you know, open up that perhaps that membership uh, for $5 a month, which is literally nothing, um, to, you know, for that reciprocal um, relationship. But um, as I said, let's go ahead, without further ado, let's do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the read Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, Mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo, beloveds. So let's see what we have on the time clock. So it is officially 12.09. 1209 that breaks down to three um, 12 is associated with that hangman so perhaps there is uh, an energy of contemplation reflection introspection perhaps meditation pondering um, you're seeing something from a different perspective. Perhaps if this isn't your energy, perhaps someone is seeing you from a different perspective. Maybe there's been some sort of light, um, a aha moment, a light bulb moment where you're finally getting some sort of epiphany. Um, I'm also getting a sense of growth. Uh, this was a sacrificial position. Whenever you're in that hangman position, that's when spirit universe, the divine most high God will flip you over to see things from a different vantage point. Perhaps there's been some stubbornness. Perhaps there's been some hard headedness. Perhaps there's just been an illusion or entrapment. Um, but spirit steps in to put you in a sacrificial position to show you something from someone else's vantage point, perhaps. Um, but it is very eye opening. Uh, this also gives you an, uh, an opportunity to start strategizing, uh, some other angle or some other approach to a situation. Three is also, uh, associated with that Empress energy, the divine feminine, the goddess, um, she is the empress. She carries all of the attributes and characteristics of all of the queens in, uh, you know, traditional tarot, such as the queen of cups, the queen of wands, the queen of pentacles, the queen of swords. So she has reached a level of self mastery. She is a master manifester. She is a nurturer. She is a maternal energy. She is the matriarch. Uh, she is a healer. Um, she's also very powerful and highly, highly intelligent, very wise soul. Um, that energy is the creative energy, uh, because she not only births babies, she is not only, you know, um, 
the creative in, in, in that aspect, but she also births new ideas, new ways of thinking. Um, she births uh, new thought processes. Uh, if this is a masculine energy, perhaps this is how someone is seeing you know, a feminine as someone who's reached that level of self-mastery. That three is also showing that through disappointment, through betrayal, through, you know, uh, sorrow, through uh, toxicity, there's been this, this transformation, this emergence of this divine feminine energy. So, you know, you've turned pain into power. You've become the conduit of change. Um, and now you're uh, stronger, more courageous, you're more assertive. Uh, because I'm seeing like that three of swords, you know, with the, the heartbreak, you know, and turning that pain into power, uh, transmuting it into, you know, transmuting the pain and turning it into power. I'm seeing also uh, the three of um, cups where there is this this reunion. This could be a celebratory energy of just coming back into alignment with yourself um, and, and also taking your power back. Uh, that three is associated with the solar plexus. That's the sun that shines within you. So there is this sense of like trusting now your own inner gumption, your own wise dome, you know, your intuition, your stomach is your second brain. So it's like when you feel something, um, you're now more prone to, to adhering to that, to being obedient to that, opposed to going against that. Perhaps that's what led to heartbreak is you not listening and trusting your intuition or you feeling like you were misled or being trapped in an illusion. Um, but now you see things clearly, you see things, um, crystal clear spirit emphasized crystal clear i see 11 11 so there's a possibility uh that some of you all are coming into alignment with a divine counterpart a soulmate uh this person is going to be a representative of you they're going to elevate you in a way where uh they compliment you and you them this isn't someone coming in that's bringing drama and negativity you have elevated and ascended so you're attracting someone in your likeness so if you are divine feminine then you're attracting a divine masculine if you're a divine masculine you're attracting a divine feminine someone who has had similar life experiences someone who has been through similar uh, growing pains someone who has also evolved someone who's also reached that level of Christ consciousness and that tapped into that God frequency so that three is definitely showing celebrations um as i said reaching that level of self-mastery maturation growth beauty attracting what you desire now um definitely coming out on the other side i feel something's manifesting i also feel someone is perhaps mustering up the strength the courage uh to take action uh, perhaps that's what that pondering and meditative energy was that I was picking up on, someone contemplating and introspecting, reflecting uh, before they take action. Uh, that 12 flipped is 21. That's the last card of the major arcana, which is the world. So that world definitely shows that uh, you've learned to navigate uh, difficult circumstances and you've evolved. You've reached a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself, a different perspective. You've gained spiritual awareness, clarity, strength. So that is the flip of that. That's what that flip is all about, showing you um, exactly who you are and what you're capable of. So that's a beautiful energy, beloveds. What we have playing right now on the playlist is we have Aman Omari. Someone could be dealing with someone named Aman Omari. Um, uh, Iman is, I, I just heard model. I believe she's like an English model. She's from the UK. So maybe some of you all are from the UK. Maybe some of you all, um, you know, are um, dealing with someone because this is called energy. So it's like, I just saw 1414, that's uh, five, five and five, five. Whenever I see double numbers, for those of you that may be new, whenever I see double numbers, I feel like you're attracting someone in your likeness, just as I said before. So you are attracting someone who has matured because the five is associated with the high pre, uh, the hierophant. 
Uh, and the Hierophant is really that energy of like mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, honing skills, gifts, and talents, but also um, learning to express yourself, you know, discovering your voice um, that deals with the throat chakra, that number five. And it isn't just about communication, um, you know, vocally, you know, expressing yourself, but it also is very much speaking to creatively expressing yourself, artistically expressing yourself. So perhaps there's been this pause, this moment where there's been some time that has really been taken to um, focus on what you're passionate about or really taking time to learn um, something that's very uh, dear to you that you're passionate about, um, interested in. This is about building your skill set. This is tutelage. Um, and so this is really a scholarly type of energy. Maybe some of you are going back to school or thinking about going back to school. Maybe you've been doing a lot of research. Maybe you've been watching a lot, a lot of documentary uh, documentaries. Um, but this is an energy where there's been some form of change. You've made some moderations uh, which resonate as uh, maturity. So I do feel like that maturation has a lot to do with expression. So, you know, maybe you've been building, as I said, your skill set in a certain area or in a certain line of business. Um, maybe you've been just kind of learning to vocalize more or express yourself more, um, you know, speak your truth. Um, maybe that's what someone has been learning. Uh, with energy, I do feel like, um, as I said, just, you know, speak energy. I feel like that's where you are now is if something doesn't feel right in your spirit, then you're off it. So I do feel like it's all about the energy for you. So if the energy isn't right, I don't feel like you're going to, um, you're going to entertain it. Uh, we're definitely going to use the energy Oracle deck today, being as though that's the same, um, you know, that's the card that I'm, uh, this, you know, the energy that I'm speaking of right now. So let's tap in. So what we have here is 61 self-love on the bottom of the deck that breaks down to seven. Seven is dealing with that chariot. Seven also is the crown chakra. So this, this speaks to growth. This also is, you know, associated with your spiritual faculties, your psyche, your intuition. Um, you know, maybe some of you all are telepathic, clairaudient, maybe you all are psychic. Um, but this is definitely, you know, as I said, you know, trusting your own intuition now. And when you do that, this resonates and permeates as self-love. Self-love always makes you more attractive. Um, I feel like this was a lesson that you all have learned um, in a process or in an experience um, that you may have had is to love yourself, is to prioritize you. Uh, perhaps there was, you know, circumstances where maybe you were self-sabotaging, overcompensating, giving more than you were receiving. And now there's more of this awareness to um, love you first and foremost. Uh, love is an inside job. You can't give anyone anything from an empty vessel. So it's really about loving yourself first. Uh, and when you do that, then that does, uh, you exude love and then you attract people that want to share that love that wants to, um, you know, to give you love, shower you with love. So that's beautiful on the split. We have personal growth. I can't make this up. So this is the growth. This is the growing pain. You got seven, seven. So I do feel like you are attracting yet again, someone in, made in your likeness. We got 18, 18 on the clock. That's nine, nine, nine is the highest number and vibration of change. Um, nine is also telling me that you and another person could be in that hermit mode. Uh, the nine is associated with the hermit. The hermit is all about, as I said, in the beginning of the reading, self-reflection, introspection, just taking that that pause to really, you know, look at things from a different um, vantage point, maybe looking back in awareness, gaining uh, some sort of um, clarity on a certain situation, but also being very guarded nonetheless, really knowing uh, the importance of protecting your energy and establishing those boundaries because maybe in the past you felt, um, you know, maybe you felt, uh, unappreciated or devalued in a situation. But I feel like whomever you're attracting, whatever you're attracting, um, through you growing 
personally it's like now you are in this energy of you know where you're loving yourself self-love is you know knowing your worth knowing your value um it's also knowing boundaries it's knowing what you deserve what you require in relationship learning your love language so i am feeling like there has been this growth this ascension as i said seven and seven we saw that on the uh, clock earlier uh, and that breaks down because it was 1414 14, actually um, and that's 5-5 five, five. and this 7-7 seven, seven breaks down to 14 which is 5 so this is showing maturation and growth uh, hence personal growth 5 deals with the Hierophant uh, and so this does show some of you all could have been seeking like um, advice from elders master teachers healers shamans light workers pastors preachers maybe a elder in the family uh, like a matriarch or patriarch maybe a great aunt grand aunt great uncle grand aunt uh, great uh, grand uncle pardon me maybe even your own mothers and fathers but I feel like there's a presence of, of some of you all um, getting advice you know maybe getting sound advice from someone that you have looked up to someone who has had um, you know overcome certain um, difficulties you know certain pitfalls in their lives uh, maybe they've experienced a lot of um, you know, uh, tumultuous circumstances and overcome them. So you're seeking advice, uh, from said individuals, uh, and they've given you something to, you know, kind of, to, you know, kind of ponder on or look at, um, and aspire to be. So this personal growth is showing that not only have you been growing and maturing and learning your lessons, um, but whomever you're attracting to you has also been doing the same. You know, that seven, as I said, is the chariot. So this could be someone that's definitely coming in to bring that harmony, that emotional equilibrium. This is also someone who's very balanced within themselves. Um, this is someone that could be like the yin to your yang. We did see that 1111 um, or the yang to your yin if you are. And look at that, that seven, seven, yet again, spirituality. This is a spiritual connection. Whomever, whatever you're attracting to you is a spiritual connection. There's a spiritual bond. That means there's something that will, uh, draw you to this person chemistry wise synergy wise there's just this unspoken attraction that I'm getting and I feel like this person may be th thinking of you dreaming of you or vice versa maybe you're just thinking and dreaming of love or daydreaming of partnership and this is what you're calling in um, you know your thoughts definitely uh, create your reality so if you are thinking of something consistently you do manifest it in this physical reality and I feel like you're attracting someone that's also equally um, in tune with with their spiritual selves spiritually aligned as well um, this is a sacred bond and connection which could lead to marriage because that five the hierophant also deals with institutions um, which could also include marriage and uh, partnerships and uh, you know as I say commitment so I do see that you're coming into alignment with someone that's also grown has learned valuable lessons has healed from you know past pains wounds and traumas and you could be coming into alignment with this person there could be some communication telepathically or intuitively maybe you're having lucid dreams maybe someone's just thinking of you so much that it's like it's literally like you live in this person's mind so the cards that flew out they've chose themselves you got three cards here so we're going to take it for the overall energy who you're attracting to you um, who or what rather and how they feel about you because there are three cards and then we're going to pull the card for what's hidden and what um, the outcome will be so what we have first is teaching and learning so that is 57 that breaks down to 12 so as I said this could be someone that's been watching you this could be a secret admirer this could be someone that definitely has grown to more attracted to you whomever this is whether you're teaching someone or you're learning from someone you could be the student and the teacher at the same time unbeknownst to you so I am getting a sense of like whomever this is is that person because that 57 breaks down to 12 this is someone that has been forced in that sacrificial position remember we started the reading with 12 and the first card out of the deck is 12 so that means that there is this energy of someone kind of pondering contemplating meditating to get something straight and now they're seeing something with a completely different set of eyes it's like the optics have changed for them so they're seeing something uh almost like for the first time you know um they're seeing perhaps you and your divine uh, essence, 
um, you know, whether you're feminine or masculine, that 12 does break down to three. So this is like, as I said, someone that could be planning and strategizing because I get the three of wands. So that's that ready, set, go. Uh, but the, whomever this is has been watching you. Um, and there's a five and that five does deal with the throat chakra. And then we have the seven, which is the crown. So this is someone up in their head uh, trying to plan, you know, some sort of strategy uh, to approach you, to express something, to confess something even. I get a sense of this someone uh, being someone you know I was also getting like you know uh, a reunion of some sort a celebration celebratory mode um, energy so if you do know this person it's like there is this energy of like someone reuniting with you this is like reuniting and I'm hearing that song reunited and it feels so good I'm like hearing that so loud so so loud in my mind's eye so it's like this is this is something that maybe you will be excited about they will be excited uh but I am getting a sense of like maybe someone even saying like you know I've been watching and I've learned a lot or you know maybe you will just you know, you will just notice the change in this person just from their actions, the way that they communicate, just their disposition. You know, there's there's a change, I feel, uh, because with teaching and learning, um, this does show that someone is absolutely or has taken accountability, responsibility to grow, to mature, because that five also deals with, like I said, the hierophant, um, which is about maturation, growth, learning. And I was picking up on an energy of, you know, people like honing skills and talents and learning to express themselves. So that's very powerful. So what we have for how someone feels about you, they're patiently patiently waiting for the opportunity this 57 breaks down to 12 that's three this two this makes that five so there is someone kind of patiently um trying to plan this this course of action the two is all about uh you know making a decision someone could be up in their head um trying to choose trying to choose wisely trying to make a decision um and they're being very patient with this process i feel this person may see you as someone um you know, that they could give to equally because that too is for whatever reason also giving me like the two of cups um, and good things take time to create. Two is also associated with the high priestess. So this is someone that does have like divine knowledge, divine wisdom as well. Um, especially when we saw that seven, seven spirituality, I do feel like this is someone that is also made in your likeness on a spiritual scale. They're spiritually strong as well because they've been building their spiritual strength. Um, but this is someone that's very patient patiently planning, patiently preparing. Um, there could be some regret here as well um, because I'm also getting like the five of cups. That's why I feel like there was this element of someone learning something because maybe, you know, that's why they're in this this uh, position of, of the hangman because maybe they you know, assumed things or didn't see someone's value or didn't appreciate someone in the way that they should have. And now they see someone in their light, in their true light. Uh, this is what they learned. This is like karma, um, almost, you know, cause spirit will put you in a sacrificial position to see things, um, from a different vantage point, especially when you're stubborn and hard headed. Uh, it's hard for you to see past, um, you know, whatever that illusion is or to get past the ego. And I feel like that's that pause that spirit, um, you know, forced someone into. So how they feel about you is 10 karmic completion. So there's been some sort of ending in your life, some sort of transformation, like you've completely wrapped up a cycle. This cycle has been very, it has been very arduous. It's been very difficult. It's been a battle, but it's like you're coming out on the other side. And this is a person that admires you because they know how difficult um, this has been for you. But yet you still, you're still standing. Um, they see that you have come full circle almost, like you've matured or you've grown. Um, you're coming out of a dark period. There was a lot of tears. There was a lot of pain, a lot of fears that you had to break free from. Um, and these fears were really self-imposed. Um, what we have right now is Ill Al Scratch. This is called I'll Take Her featuring Brian McKnight. Someone could be dealing with someone named Brian or McKnight, first, middle, or last. Uh, but with this Ill and Al Scratch, I'll Take Her, it's like, you know, with this five... And this one, this is giving me the six, which is, you know, associated with the lovers. So I am getting a sense of someone like wanting to double back, 
as I said, I was getting someone from your past. I'm also getting six of cups, but the six, the lovers is like past life love. This is that, that, that spiritual connection and bond, that union that I was picking up on. Um, and this is why they now can come in because you have completed a cycle. If this is someone you've never met, I feel like this is someone you may have known in a former life, or when you meet this person, you'll feel like you've known them all your life but whomever this is maybe you have a secret admirer that you may work with maybe you have a secret admirer that you have grew up with you live maybe you have a social media platform platform and this is someone that may follow you or watch you from a distance maybe this is someone that you know um you know maybe um you know just in passing maybe a neighbor um maybe you you know um frequent the same you know, grocery store, the same gym, maybe the same nature trail, whatever it is, there's a sense of familiarity. Um, this person being familiar with you, especially with teaching and learning, it just gives me a sense of, um, you know, someone watching and observing you um, and now being, you know, seeing things from a different perspective. That six also shows that there are victories. Um, there's a breakthrough. You've had a major breakthrough in your life and you've been through enormous change and now you're on the precipice of something very exciting. Um, this is a beautiful, uh, fresh start for you. Um, and this also is speaking to passion. Uh, uh, because this 10 breaks down to one, you know, every ending denotes a new beginning. So they do see that you are like having some exciting, fresh start. Uh, that one is a very felicious number as well. So I am getting that they are very attracted to you. There's a strong attraction um, and admiration and adoration. Um, I'm hearing strength, you know, the vitality. So it's like they like all of those things about you. What's hidden, we do have that 77 spirituality uh, still on the bottom of the deck. So this could be that same uh, connection I was picking up on where there is, you know, a very uh, spiritual bond that you will share with this person um, that I feel that you are uh, attracting to you. So with this six, I'm definitely getting a sense of like, you know, the yin to your yang, uh, a soulmate. Uh, this could even be partnerships if this is not um, in relation to love. If this is, say, for instance, uh, business, maybe you're coming into, um, you know, some new contractual agreements where you're starting a new job, a new career, um, you know, perhaps getting a promotion. Maybe if this is dealing with, you know, a personal business or uh, your entrepreneurship, there's some exciting movement forward. Uh, there's a victory ahead for you. I feel things are definitely, um, you know, coming out uh, very positive, working out, I should say, very positively for you. So let's tap in. So what's hidden in the energy? Let's go ahead. What's hidden in the energy? And I'm going to cut the deck because I never got a chance to because those cards chose themselves. So the my spirit of peace, power, and protection. So this card chose itself. So your last, okay, we got your messages. What did I say? There goes the six love. So which, what's hidden is there is a secret admirer. With six love, what you don't know is your uh, soulmate, your cosmic companion, a past life love is coming in. This is someone that's coming in. This is someone that's approaching you. There goes the 14-5. So this is someone that's been making changes or moderations or spirit is saying expect changes. There's definitely some positive changes that have taken effect because of healing. You know, someone has definitely gotten to the root cause of, you know, any pain that they may have experienced. Um, and they've done a lot of healing at a soul level. Um this is also, you know, redefining what, what security means for you, what family means, um, what stability means for you, establishing your own solid foundation, becoming independent and self-sufficient and self-reliant, um, stepping out of that codependency. You know, those were the positive, healthy changes that some of you all have made. Those moderations have led to you now being, um, you know, strong, it has led to you now being, um, you know, that, that strong individual that you are now, this is beautiful. And this is showing, you know, that 14 yet again, that 14 shows yet again, that those were, uh, some of the ways in which you've matured and have grown. And we got 14 and then we got 41, which is interchangeable and that's self-discipline. So that shows that you made the necessary changes. It was by your efforts it was by you, you know, really being, um, you know, really being intentional, 
with your own healing process. And this is what you're doing now. You're following your dreams. You're moving to the beat of your own drum. You're following your heart, you know, your passion. That is all in relation to your creativity, you know? So that's beautiful. So what also flew out is we have 19 pride. Didn't I say someone had to, you know, kind of get out of their ego? That's why I feel this person is literally like in the space of, you know, being forced to see things from a different perspective. 19 pride. And then we have this 10 karmic completion. So that's the same energy. So how someone feels about you is they have to, you know, kind of, you know, let the pride you know, put the pride aside, you know, is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye and make the changes, you know, make the necessary changes, you know, and the change could just simply be communicate, you know, express how you feel, you know, express yourself. Self-discipline is also, um, you know, being able to, you know, re regulate your own emotions, you know, you, you, you can't, put, you know, project onto other people, you know, uh, certain emotions, uh, that you're feeling, um, you have to know how to self-regulate. And I feel like that's another reason why this 19 pride is here. Um, the beautiful thing about this is that it's at a 10, which means there is an actual ego death. And so with that ego death, that does lead to a fresh start that leads to someone taking action that leads to a new beginning so let's tap in beloveds so let's get some i'm gonna get some tarot messages actually let's see what we got coming from tarot i'm gonna get a couple of clarifiers and then we're gonna wrap it up because we're not gonna do a two-hour reading today so look what we have here the ace of pentacles Ace of Pentacles, this is an offer. This is a solid offer, a tangible offer. So this could be more money. This could be getting approval for a home, a loan, a car. Uh, this is definitely someone even proposing. Look at this. Look, look at this. I can't make this up. There goes the two of Pentacles. What in the world? Oh, snap. Look at these cards, yo, on the bottom of the deck. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the two of Cups, which I mentioned, the nine of Cups. This is self-love. This is me, myself, and I learning that you are, you know, valuable. There goes the two of cups. They, I mean, that was the lovers, pardon me. The lovers, the two of cups. There goes the four of wands. And then here goes the six of cups. So I've mentioned each of these cards. There goes the ace of wands. <laughs> this is all on the bottom of the deck. I mean, come on. Everything that I've mentioned. So this is showing like there's definitely... Um, you're, you're reaping some sort of reward. And I feel like there's definitely, um, recognition for, um, wrapping up a cycle, completing a cycle. So we have six and six, that's 12, 12 is three, three, and one. You have a divine masculine that could be coming in that may be realizing, you know, that they have love for you Four deals with the heart chakra. That's also, you know, the emperor, the, you know, the Lord, the God. So this, you know, that emperor can be very proud. He could be very stern and stoic and, you know, very bold. And he could even be authorita authoritative. So that, that could speak to the pride. All of these cards reduce to four. So 57 is three, three and two, that's four. I mean, five, pardon me. Five and 10, that one, that's six. Six and six, that's 12. So that's what's hidden is the same person they, they realize and discover and they love you, that hangman, that 12 breaks down to three. And that's them planning, preparing, strategizing. And this three and this one, they're going to have an ego death and they're going to take action. And they are going to express love because this blue card deals with the throat chakra. I feel this person does take, you know, you know, they do think about you a lot. You know, that six is dealing with the first die. We have this page of wands. So there is some exciting news. There's something coming in, some sort of news that's coming in. What we have playing right now is have a nice day. And this is by um, Mount Westmore, have a nice day. So I do feel like when this person does communicate, I feel like they, they, you're going to have, you know, they're going to have something, you know, amazing to say, amazing to offer. Look at this. 
you got some offers coming in. There's definitely some offers. I also feel like if you're working on something, it's just going to grow. Some of y'all could be stressing over money, stressing over bills, stressing over business. You know, maybe someone is stressing over how to make this offer. That Nine of Swords is like someone really suffering from insomnia. This is someone that's really up in their head a lot, waking up in cold sweats. I see the Four of Swords. So maybe there's been some sort of like um, guardedness. You know, the Four of Swords shows that, you know, you've been healing. You've been recuperating and recovering from disappointments. Someone definitely has a lot of regret. He's holding his head in shame. You know, and there's no communication, I feel. And that could be, you know, why this teaching and learning is here as well. You know, because I was associating that teaching and learning with the three of swords. And there we see the four of swords. You've definitely walked away. I get a sense of you walking away, you know, because that eight of cups is showing that you've been pouring into someone and there was no reciprocity. And so that at some point you realized your worth and value and decided to move, you know, move on. You know, you realize like, you know, self-love was an inside job and you were feeling emotionally bankrupt. I feel this person has a lot of regret for, you know, making you walk away by not taking initiative or not making the effort. And there's a wheel of fortune here. So this shows that someone feels that this connection or, you know, something that's destined is coming in, even if this is your energy where you could be stressing and, and overthinking and ruminating and pining over something you're in a very dark place you know some of you all could be waking up uh during witching hours there could be some element that could be like psychically attacking you so you may need to protect yourself but i see that there's some sort of turning point something is turning in your favor i feel like there, if there were delays or blockages that there's definitely like a turning point now what's destined for you is yours there goes the nine of wands. This is what someone is agonizing over because you've been very guarded. You've established boundaries. That's something that you've learned to do. As I said, I just get a sense of maybe, you know, you overcompensated in the past, was always saying yes. There goes the five of cups, regrets. Someone's, you know, definitely very burdened, overwhelmed, overthinking, having regrets perhaps over this, this you know, constant, you know, energy of rushing in and dipping out. And this is not an energy that you can depend on or rely on. This is someone that flies in and, you know, it's just like just a very uh, non-committal type of energy. I do get a sense also, like I said, that, you know, there is another element of just kind of like with this patience, you know, someone is definitely planning and preparing and strategizing you know, this is a element of someone that knows that um, good things take time to create. That's what that patience is. Because that Knight of Pentacles, he takes his time because he wants to get it right. You know, he knows, he knows, uh, he's done his, his um, homework. So he knows that you're worthy. He knows you're valuable. He knows your worth. And that's why he's so meticulous. That's why he's so patient in, in making an offer. And it goes the emperor. Someone may definitely be seeing you as, you know, someone very strong, very business savvy. There's a lot of confusion here. Maybe someone is conflicted. There could be even some competition. Maybe there's just a lot of people in the way, in, the, in someone's head. All right, bottom of the deck, overall energy. We got the two of cups, can't make this up. So, and we have the nine of wands in the bottom of the deck. So this person has learned a lot. And what they've learned is that, you know, there's definitely a strong attraction here. There's definitely someone that feels, you know, that you and them, there is a sacred bond, union, connection, and that you both speak one another's love language. They've learned you know, this is someone that's been learning. This is definitely someone that's attracted to you. This is two people pouring into one another's cup. And what's hidden is patience. So maybe they're being patient because they feel you're guarded. You know, they're being patient because, you know, they feel like you're blocked, like you're not communicating, like you're not um, showing any sign of interest. 
So they're trying to decide the best approach, trying to decide the best way to get in, maybe to get into your good graces. If this is someone that you are familiar with, why is this two patients here for how this person, Scorpios are attracting to them? Who or what Scorpios are attracting to them? Feel about them. Make it a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. What did I say about you having a secret admirer, patience? Patience is also a form of action. So they're preparing, they're planning, and they're going to take the right course of action. This page of swords is very meticulous in gathering information. You know, so they could be watching you from a distance. And the sword is up, which means they're prepared to come in and communicate. Remember this three and this two, this reduces to five. So they are ready to communicate. And this confirms that with the sword being up. So upright, that means they're ready to communicate. If there was confusion, you can see those clouds kind of dissipating. If there was any confusion surrounding this connection, it's like they're now clear. They're definitely watching you. And I see the Knight of Cups here. This is how they feel about you, is they want to come in with their cup of love, make an offer, because they do feel like, you know, they want a fresh start. What we have playing right now is Jay Dilla. This is called So Far To Go. And this is featuring uh, Common and De La. I mean, uh, D'Angelo, pardon me. So Jay Dilla is, um, I believe, from, I believe he was from Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. Either Detroit or Ohio. And I know um, Common is from Chicago. So maybe someone you all are dealing with, or maybe some of you all are uh, from uh, Detroit, Ohio, Chicago, or Virginia, maybe someone's name is Virginia, maybe someone's dealing with someone named D or Angelo or D'Angelo. I'm hearing Jason, maybe someone's name has a J or a D, maybe someone was born in January um, that you were dealing with on the 10th, on the 1st, like they're like literally born on New Year's Day. I feel there is an offer of love, but I also feel there could be an element of like, you know, whatever emotional manipulation, it's an end to that. It's like you're not, that's why that energy song was playing earlier. It's like, trust your, trust your inner gumption when it comes to offers. Why is this 10 karmic completion here for who, how this person, our beloved Scorpios feel about them? And we have the moon, so there are some things that are hidden. This also is reminding you to trust your intuition. There is a new moon today. So this is six of swords, so this shows movement. This shows definitely someone that could... Um, this definitely shows that someone could be taking action. I do see that you all have made um, a decision to move away from the nonsense. It's like you're having some fresh start and you're moving. Some of you are relocating. Some of you are thinking of like, you know, moving. But you're getting away from, you know, the drama. You're getting away from like all of the turmoil, all of the negativity. Maybe this is someone planning to come towards you. There could be some sort of distance and they're taking action. We have the moon, so you could be dealing with someone that could be a cancer. I do see here, you know, there's two towers. So as I said, you are mirroring someone. So there can be an element, 47, 47, that's 11, 11. So you're mirroring someone, and whoever this is, is your, you know, your soulmate, I feel. You both have been through similar experiences, similar dramas, traumas. Even these two cups look like the number 11, so this is, you know, you all have learned to pour into your own cup, you know. That's what the teaching and learning is all about. If this person is watching you or you are watching them, this is what you've learned from them or they from you is to, you know, work on the self. You have to heal that self in order to love that self. When you love that self, then you know that self. When you know that self, you know your worth, your value, and you're no, will, no, no longer willing to settle. But you also discover your love language. You also discover what you like, what you dislike. And I feel whomever this is, they've done the same work. They've done the same internal work, healed at the same, you know, level or capacity as you. 
and now there's this element of like someone it's like private eyes is what I'm hearing so I don't know if someone is doing like background checks or someone is Google searching another person or maybe someone is just simply kind of watching someone's social media so why is the six love here it's like trust your intuition maybe intuitively you're picking up on this Thank you, Spirit. We got the Nine of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. So that just shows how you come off very guarded. Look what I have here. We have the Empress. I mentioned the Empress. So this person realizes you, you are someone that they love. They're very attracted to you. You're very beautiful, very powerful. We also have this Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. So if someone felt abandoned or even if someone abandoned you, it's like whoever this is, they want to offer you you know, they want to make an offer. This is someone, you know, even if you were abandoned by someone else, this is like a very solid offer. This five of pentacles, a lot of people say like, you know, this is a very dark and gloomy card, but what always sticks out to me is them persevering through this, you know, showing resilience and strength, still moving, still walking, even though they have no shoes on their feet. Can you imagine the frostbite can you imagine how cold but they're still pushing you know this shows resilience to me you know this could also be associated with why you know this karmic completion is here for how they see you you know you've mustered up enough strength and courage and this seven that this all reduces to this ten which is one and then the six of swords that's seven so that's showing the personal growth that this person feels you've made you know remember we saw that personal growth earlier it also shows you know that seven uh for spirituality so it is given a sense of like you having you know gone through uh or grew through some really uh difficult um circumstances and that's why they see you as this empress you know what's hidden is someone will be confessing and making a very grand gesture offer of love you know maybe someone is leaving a situation behind you know or maybe someone felt abandoned in the past you know whoever this was maybe this is the person that may have abandoned you and now it's like they see you in you know in this um in this light of regalness and royalty and we have this nine of wands so this is the ego death, you know, that's that ego death. Like this person's pride and ego isn't allowing them to come towards you because you come off very guarded and rightfully so, especially if you had to deal with heartache and pain in your past, you are more protective of your energy. You have established boundaries and you have created, you know, a, a protective bubble around yourself. So I feel that this person is going to humble themselves and they will let down their guard uh to because two guarded people you know you ain't gonna get very far so you know with the wrappings around your head that head wrap it shows that there was a lot of mind uckery and a lot of technology and a lot of games you know manipulation that you've experienced um and this was you know by people closest to you this is by people that were in your circles you've given people chance after chance and you felt very um taken advantage of yeah you come off very very guarded to whomever this is you got the seven of wands and the nine of wands it's like you've built you know this this um protective bubble you have a wall up in this person's eyes and the death is here so there was a demise of a relationship a partnership but there also is this this transformation that you've experienced you 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 don't take no shorts anymore it's like you're not taking any shorts. That's who you've emerged as. And this is them planning. How do I get past Scorpio's walls? Like, how do I break down these walls? You know? So they're going to try an approach of, you know, being very chivalrous and charming. And you may interpret this as emotionally manipulative. <laughs> you know? But they are trying. So they're going to change their approach because now I see the page of cups. You know, and that page of cups has a fish in it. So it, that to me always makes me feel like you're going to be very fishy of an offer. You know, you're fishy of any offers, you know, but then they're going to come in and, and they're going to offer you something tangible. So that's why I felt like they, they was taking their time. You know, they strategize and plan and taking their time because they want to get it right, you know, and they're going to let go of this ego, you know. Let's get one more message. Why is this 19 pride here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? All right. So... That page, let me finish my shuffle, bottom of the deck. See that three of swords? 
That's why you're so guarded. You've been through the thick of it. You've been through the thick of it. And that's what this tennis of uh, karmic completion is. It's like you're not trying to have, uh, you know, a part two of the drama. And so this is why we have this pride here. Someone is going to make, you know, an offer, a gesture. You know, this could even be you, you know, starting something new. You know, this could be a new idea in business. This three of swords with the ten, I mean, with the uh, king of swords. So there is a message. I feel like that page that was watching you has changed their tone, you know, even though a lot of people say that king of swords is very stoic and he could be very harsh. And, you know, I feel like you'll be able, you know, in this empress energy, you, you can tango with that. You know, I feel someone may be confessing something, expressing something truthful because the sword is up. This queen, this, this empress is no fool. This empress is just as powerful. She's very regal. And I feel you're giving someone an opportunity to express something. This person could be apologizing for breaking your heart. You know, this could be someone who's feeling heartbroken um, and expressing that. There's um, butterflies on the back of his throne. And those butterflies are um, indicative of transformation. So I feel like heartbreak, pain has transformed this person to be perhaps more sensitive, you know. And we have um, average white band, and this is called schoolboy crush. So this is someone that's crushing on you. I feel like this is someone that does want to come in and help mend your broken heart, even if this is a feminine energy. I'm just getting a sense of someone wanting to mend someone's heart. Let me get one more message. Wow, the page of cups. As I said, mend your heart. So this is going to be kind of exciting. I feel like you're, you know, this is just speaking to like communication. Because the pages bring messages. They're messengers, you know. So not only is the message an offer, which is tangible, you know. This could be speaking to, you know, collaborating and building a partnership. This could even be a job offer, someone offering you some assistance. But this also is, you know, something that's bringing some sort of emotional fulfillment and balance. And there goes that Knight of Pentacles yet again. See that? This is the star and the Knight of Pentacles. So someone definitely sees you as a wish fulfillment. Remember, we saw that follow your dream. And that's what you're doing. You see how you are completely bare, naked. It's like you've literally turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. And you've learned that you are the conduit of change. You're tapping into that alchemical force. And someone is just taking their time because they see you as a star. They see you in the limelight. Perhaps they're watching you. And they're strategizing and planning and mastering some sort of plan to come towards you, mustering up the strength even to take action, you know, because you do come off very guarded. <laughs> Look what's there after the three, <laughs> after the three of wands. Look what we have, the same energy. So that's why they're sitting here planning. You know, it's going to manifest in real time. I feel like good things take time to create. But this is a star. This is saying that there's some sort of wish fulfillment here. There's something coming that you may not even realize, or maybe you do, because this is something that you've literally manifested and called in. You know, you've sent up those prayers and petitions, did your daily affirmations, mantras, and it's like spirit is granting this wish. This is beautiful. So we're going to get a couple of messages from my deck, and then we're going to wrap it up. So what we have here is you will be the first millionaire in your family and it says it is written so for many of you if you are starting businesses you know this empress is showing that there is something hidden that's going to lead to success and expansion and opulence you know there is something here this could even be a sacred union because we do also have like this ace of pentacles which so which is showing like your money is going to be great like there's good money um you know this is a good money read also so let's clarify. We're going to get five messages to clarify. So I see blocka, blocka, blocka. And remember that five, uh, I mean, that seven of wands and that knight of wands. You know, that's what you were doing. You know, there was some energy of protectedness, you know, and that's what this person is learning. You know, maybe they're learning because you established boundaries with them. If this is someone you know, um, if this isn't someone you know, maybe this is someone interested in you and you come off very guarded and very blocked. And it's because of whatever you've experienced in your past. Uh, so it's like you're not playing games. You're not allowing anyone to come in and play games. Um, 
the next card we see is for the love of money. Um, moolah, dough, cheddar cheese, biscuits. This says greed. So, you know, someone was definitely uh, dealing with a very volatile and vile energy. Someone that could have been using them, uh, perhaps for money, maybe for material things. Uh, you know, just a user. I'm getting like an energy vampire. I'm getting someone that was just like a succubus, an incubus, a leech, a parasite. Um, someone just riding someone's coattail. And, you know, maybe that's what someone had discovered uh, perhaps in, uh, you know, leaving you. That's why the regret was there. That's why we saw that there was a lot of um, ruminating and pining and, you know, restless nights and heads being hung over in regret uh, because someone got caught up with, you know, a gold digger. This could be a female or a man. Um, and that's the energy. I see spidey senses, trust your gut and question everyone, everything. And remember I was saying that with that three, that now you're more, uh, you know, um, susceptible to trusting your intuition. You're not just doing anything. That's what you've learned. That's what this 57 to 12, you've learned to trust your intuition, that gumption, that inner gumption, that inner wisdom. What we have here is done, done, fin, and that's how they feel about whatever cycle uh, you were in. Maybe someone was waiting for you to wrap up a cycle. Maybe someone was waiting for you to leave someone or leave something behind. But it's like they see that now something has ended. Um, and maybe that that's their way in. Maybe they're seeing that as a way in to have a new start. What I see here is flighty ins and outs. Um, it says impulsive, unreliable. And remember we saw, we kept seeing that Knight of Wands energy. And that's what I get from a Knight of Wands. Maybe someone is leaving um, someone behind that, or maybe someone felt left behind by someone that was kind of like, had that player energy, because this is what's hidden. So the flighty ins and out, this is that unreliable energy. And this empress is not going to put up with that. Um, she's only accepting, you know, good vibrations and someone that's going to be on her frequency because she knows her worth and value. Next we have, he loves me. He loves me not games, mixed signals. So someone was definitely dealing with someone who was just playing a lot of games and this was ego. This was pride. Maybe someone was, you know, literally representing their representative. You know, they were, you know, operating with that representative and putting on a front, putting on a face, wearing a mask, pretending to be someone or something that they weren't. And, you know, maybe they were showing certain things. Remember what I said about that, that um, cup with the fish in it. It was very fishy. You know, something was very fishy about the connection, um, especially if this is a page, you know, this is very childish energy, juvenile. Maybe this is someone that was younger. Um, you know, someone that shows you uh, different things. It's like, you know, maybe there's certain people around and then they, they act a certain way when there's certain people around. Or maybe every day you see this person, you're just seeing a different side to them. That's just not uh, becoming. Uh, there goes the victories I was picking up. We got Baba Ogun uh, and it says breakthrough, uh, breakthroughs, victory and success. So there's definitely going to be a very beautiful breakthrough. And we also have words of spells, spells by mind your words and stay protected. So I was picking up on, you know, perhaps some Someone doing psychic um, attacks or sending psychic attacks, maybe someone um, that is in this confused state was under some sort of, you know, spell or under some sort of um, voodoo, juju, hoodoo. And that's the reason why they were kind of flighty in and out playing a lot of games. Um, but this is your reading. What I would definitely encourage you to do is to trust your intuition uh, because that's what spirit is telling you is like you have to always go with that gumption. Um, if something doesn't feel right, you already know not to question it. You know, your spidey senses are always going to give you the real. Um, and look what we have underneath that. It says hone your skills uh, gifts, talents, practice makes perfect. So I do get a sense of spirit telling you to like continue mastering your craft. If you are starting something new, that's what you're doing. You're focusing on, you know, your ideas on, you know, your blueprint, your business portfolio, uh, on mastering a certain craft. But I am getting a sense that that is going to lead to success, victory, and more importantly, some major breakthrough. Um, Baba Ogun also protects you from you know any type of negativity um as he too carries a sword just like archangel mikael a lot of people say their energy is very similar 
Um, so, you know, if you do have someone attempting to, you know, give you evil eye, you're dealing with jealousy and envy, um, Archangel, uh, I mean, Baba Ogun, pardon me, um, is protecting you. Some of you may have Archangel Mikael protecting you as well, uh, but Baba Ogun is definitely going to bring you a victory. Ashe. So that is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind, hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe button, and definitely, um, share the video if you feel so inclined. Um, and also if you are interested in booking a consultation, a spiritual consultation with me, check the link below, um, in my description box, you will find, um, a link to my Etsy shop and you can book there. I also have some other little items that I, um, that I handcraft. I make bracelets. Um, this is one of my, uh, bracelets that I've recently made. This has a little hematite on it. Uh, with some black obsidian. Uh, this one is Azerite, which is a stone very closely associated with Archangel Mikael, uh, an evil eye, and this is black tourmaline. Of course, I got my Palo Santo. Um, this is my chakra uh, balance uh, bracelet. <laughs> and then I have another one with the uh, chips chipped stones. These are all natural healing stones. Everything is supercharged, activated, uh, but a little small plug for my small business. Anyone that has already patronized, I truly, truly appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe, y'all. Peace.